Hello, and welcome to this 14th episode of Five Minutes with NY Ike. I am Isaac Sokolik, or NY Ike on Twitter. And if you've watched previous episodes, you've heard me talk about data science and analytics, data visualization, data governance, and data operations. And then I have separate episodes talking about agile and agile planning and really running transformations with agile methodologies and way of working. So what happens when we put these two together and we apply agile in the data and analytics space? Now, I've had some people tell me they do this already and I have other people tell me that they don't think agile can work in a data science program. I feel pretty strongly that it can and in this next few minutes, I'm gonna explain why I think agile is the perfect framework for data science visualization, data ops and data governance programs. So let's put Agile and data science together and see what that looks like and why. Let's start with people and skills, right? When I think about a fully functioning data, data ops, data governance, data visualization, machine learning group, I have a lot of different skills together that have to do different things. I want to source data. I want to cleanse it and bring it into my repositories. I want to be able to model it at times in data warehouses or structure it in my data lakes. I need to make sure that my data catalogs and master data sources are updated. Ultimately, I want all of this driven by the analytics and the data science and data visualizations that we want to do. And that's all driven by the questions and areas of opportunity the business wants to explore with its data. Right. So first, I need a multidisciplinary team to be able to work on these things together, especially as I pursue larger and bigger ideas. Second thing is really around the process itself. All right. How do we get this multidisciplinary team to work together? And I'm going to fall back to agile principles of having them commit together. Right. Look at a release. Look at a vision statement and say, what is it that we have to do collaboratively together to be able to get some answers? And really, that's around asking the right questions, forming hypotheses, discovering what's un in the underlying data and then doing many rounds of experiments that bring the underlying data into the data sets that they already have, and then ultimately looking at different models and visualizations that look for insights, right? So that sounds to me like an iterative approach to be able to take what we've learned and ultimately deliver ideas and deliver results in an incremental fashion. And then lastly, at the end of every one of these turns, I want to be able to look back and recalibrate. What have I learned? What are some new questions? Every time I do discovery work, I have to try to answer some questions, but there's some new ones. What are some of the new activities, new areas of experimentation, or do I need to pivot? Maybe I'm heading down a dead end and the data doesn't support the hypotheses and I need to regroup and look for another area of opportunity to focus my initiatives on. So, Again, recalibration in terms of what I want to do next as a group. And so when I put this together, this looks a lot like Agile to me from the planning. And if you buy and use my star CIO Agile planning frameworks, how do you plan multiple sprints worth of activity? How do you sprint and stay focused on short term objectives? And then using things like retrospective in a creative way to take your learnings, uh, reevaluate the questions you asked and see what's the next thing that you should really focus on as a group based on the new learnings and observations and experiments that you'd like to do. So when you put all of this together, what I'm encouraging is focusing on the big ideas, not the little ideas that people and groups and teams work on individually, Right. When I see a data scientist teams not talking to the data viz team, when data governance is struggling to get lift because nobody's paying attention to them, it's because these skills and teams are operating independently. When you put out a big idea mm -hmm. and you align these groups against those big ideas, then you bring people with different skills, with different area of data and analytics together to plan, to sparent, to use retrospectives around their questions, hypotheses, and experiments, and continue to iterate toward something of value. 
Now, I've done a lot of writing on this, both on my blog, blogs.starcio.com, as well as on InfoWorld. If you sign up for my newsletter at that link, starcio.com slash 5nyike slash EP14, you'll get a special list of all the different places that I've written about around data science, governance, and using Agile to frame them. Thank you for watching this episode of 5 Minutes with NY Ike. Please subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you again soon.